What's up guys, Mini Michael here, and today we're going to be doing some more live hacks. Alright, so very similar to my other channel, where I do have a TikTok playlist, this is my crafting channel, so we're going to be doing some life hacks. We're going to be doing a little bit of reactions. It's very similar to my other channel, except on my other channel we don't do as many life hacks as we do here. I'm going to go back to doing the life hacks. Also guys, if you guys want me to try this out on my next life hacks video, be sure to hit that like button in the face. And now we can watch the video. And also guys, TikTok is really popular. That's why I've been doing it. This is the second channel where I'll be doing it on. <sighs> the second channel I'll be doing my TikTok hacks on. And all right. I need to check the first portion okay. of it. I am never going to post cereal the same again. Ever. Ever. Cereal? Cereal. 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 Okay. 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 Regular box. Hey, how about it? It pops open. Hey, you want to press cereal? Take the tab with the little wonky side. Okay. You want to push the sides down. Push the wonky side down. And you want to push in. Warm a little crease, warm a little crease, and you're going to take the, the other unwonky end, and you're going to freaking insert it into the top there. Boom! What? Boom. Fresh cereal all the time. What the heck oh. is that? Hang on. I better try this. I don't think that's right. Alright, this will be probably the only life hack we'll be doing on here. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. We're going to open this up. Then we're going to push this in here. And then right here, we're going to fold out a little bit of a creek here. And now we, and we got this portion here. Okay. And then we're going to close it up. I think it worked. Dude, look. TikTok hacks exposed. Okay. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. Like I said, guys, if you guys really want me to do these, the remainder of these hacks on another video, I want to know if you guys like it. Uh, Alright, y'all, so it's a little dish to go next to my pots here tonight. I make those little biscuit things. I actually learned how to do it on TikTok. It's just how I do it. Cut your little biscuits into eights, put them in the bowl, and you're going to add melted butter on the top. Some chives. They didn't have fresh chives at the store, so you can dry them. Ranch seasoning. Sharp cheddar cheese and then some Parmesan cheese. You're gonna mix it all up with your hands and you add five pieces of each muffin coat. When that's done, you just put it in the oven at 350 and okay. 12 minutes to cook. They come out, it should look something like that. What? That looks so delicious. Okay. Start with that chicken thigh, cut it dry. Get them all in the bowl. Season them all with Tabasco, cayenne, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Mix it up until it looks just like that. Two cups of flour, cayenne, paprika, cornstarch, salt, pepper. Mix it up. That's the flour mix. Two eggs, buttermilk. You don't want to mix that up. Whatever. Over the chicken. Mix up the chicken. Get it in there. Let it sit. Then coat the chicken very well with flour, spicy mayonnaise, mayonnaise, paprika, cayenne, Tabasco. Simple. Mix. 
What is the heck are you making? Oh, fried chicken! Like how KFC makes it. Toasted brioche bun, spicy mayonnaise, both sides, pickles, and chicken. Top it. Yes, uh, this is how you make a baked potato in five minutes. Wash the potato, making sure no hidden dirt is laying around. Using a fork, poke holes into the potato five times. Turn the potato over, poke five more holes. Microwave the potato for five minutes. Turn it over, microwave it for another five minutes. When you take it out, slice the top off the potato. Make diagonal cuts into the potato, making sure not to... Oh, dude, forward. slow Turn down. the potato sideways and make more diagonal cuts going the opposite way. You end up getting this diagonal cut pattern. That's how you make a baked potato in ten minutes with even butter distribution. Check out that butter. Alright, dude, you gotta slow down on that one. We're bored again today and decided to make some funnel cake. You need one and a half cup of flour, half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, some vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. A four teaspoon of baking soda and an egg. Oh my Let's goodness. Let's get on together. Hang on, I better sugar. turn down this volume. Cup. Mix until it's this consistency. I put my batter into this cup with a lid. You can use an actual funnel or any squeezy bottle. Get your oil ready, put it on medium. I check my lid chopstick when it starts to form little bubbles they should be ready pour your batter in slowly like this and you can use vegetable oil canola oil any frying oil and you have to flip it when it's golden brown um be really careful please don't burn down your house and yeah it should be ready after two minutes on each side then you put some powdered sugar on it or you can put fruit whipped cream cinnamon whatever you like okay not bad. You're all snuggled up watching your Netflix movie. I can eat a hot chocolate. Two tablespoons of butter, four ounces of semi sweet chocolate chips in a saucepan. Melt and stir until it's nice and smooth. Let that cool. Half a cup of flour, half a tablespoon of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a dash of salt. In a mixing bowl, add about half a cup of brown sugar, one egg, and half a The proper way to make cookies. Add your cool chocolate mixture. While that's mixing, slowly add your flour mixture until it's all combined. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Now scrape down the side of the bowl, cover it, and refrigerate it for an hour. Set your oven at 325. Table spoon to roughly measure your dough. Roll it really fast in your hands to get a ball like this. Line them up on a cookie sheet. Oh, I'm one short. Bake for 8 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, cut your marshmallows in half like this. As soon as they come out of the oven, chop them with the marshmallows. Add in the oven for two more minutes. Melt half a stick of butter. Add a fourth a cup of cocoa powder, hot water, and the tiniest bit of vanilla. Slowly add in two cups of powdered sugar. As you would skip it, I only have one hand. Drizzle the frosting on each cookie. And finally, add your sprinkles. Now it's time to see how they are. They're delicious. Oh, I've seen this hack. And you should have your own cake. What are you doing with that? I don't trust you using that. Oh. Oh, how cute. Okay, I saw this on TikTok, and I need to see if it's true. So you take one of these things, you stick it up through the butt of a lemon, I guess. <laughs> and then you just squeeze it out, and it's like, oh, it actually worked! Oh my god, that is so cool. That's cool! Oh my god. Okay, so the coolest part about that is there are no seeds in here. This is so awesome! First, grab your instant coffee. To measure out about two tablespoons. Next, get some white cane sugar, anything else that's brown sugar you like, and also put out two tablespoons of sugar. Then go ahead and heat up some water, and then add two tablespoons of boiled water. Now mix it together until the coffee is more smooth. What? Instead of using a hand whisk or an electric whisk, I got this one from Amazon, go ahead and start whisking the coffee. Once you start whisking the coffee, you'll notice the color of the breakfast is getting lighter, and the consistency will actually get very thin. This is how you can mix with about a minute or two of this. Now go ahead and get your slice of ice, your preferred choice of milk, and add in your whipped coffee at the top. And there you have your whipped, trendy TikTok coffee.
Alright guys, but anyways, I'm gonna end it here. If you guys want me to try all these food hacks, please hit the like button in the face and subscribe to my Wattpad. I love you guys, thanks for watching. Bye guys!